The fighting is between members of the Inyeli and Munzaya tribes. It's reportedly rooted in a dispute over fishing and farming rights. The violence began in a village called Dongo and the residents fled across the Ubangi River into neighboring Republic of Congo. Chantal McKaylee was trying to escape the violence with her 11-year-old daughter, Ruth. Ruth's leg was later amputated. More than 20% of the refugees are arriving with gunshot wounds. The UN Refugee Agency started a mobile clinic service to aid the wounded who are in isolated areas. They've also helped seriously injured refugees to be transferred to Infondo Hospital. Kualo Guamini was visiting Dongo when he got caught up in the violence. Seventy percent of the refugees are said to be women and children. UNHCR is using boats to bring assistance to the refugees who sought safety in the villages along the Ubangi River. Blankets and other essentials have been provided to the refugees, now estimated to number more than 70,000. It's estimated another 38,000 are displaced inside DR Congo. Actuellement, nous sommes en train de procéder à l'embarcation des des NFI, des biens non vivres, qui sont destinés aux déplacés qui reviennent de, du nord de la RDC suite au conflit interethnique dans les localités de Dongo, Zaire et puis Messé. In Iboko, a village on the opposite bank from Dongo, weary refugees waited in the heat to receive their aid package. Some of the refugees are staying with local families, but others are building temporary homes outside the village. In the Falco site in Betu, hundreds of refugees are squatting in an abandoned match factory. The conditions are deplorable, there's no running water, and families are cooking and sometimes sleeping out in the open.